Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech. In today's video, I'll be discussing Android 10 on the Google Pixel 3a XL. Now, I won't be going through all of the new gestures and features and all the cool stuff that Android 10 brings. There are a lot of videos right now on YouTube about that, so be sure to check those out. However, I will be doing something a bit different. I will be doing a speed test comparison between Android 9 Pie and Android 10 showing you benchmark tests before and after as well as opening apps before and after to see if it improved the speed, decreased the speed, has higher scores, lower scores, and all that kind of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so we're on the main screen here on the Pixel 3 AXL. Let's go ahead and verify that I am still on Android 9 Pie. And you'll see right there, Android version 9 with August 1st, 2019 security patch. So go back home here. I pulled the drop down to show you that I got the update right there. Android 10, uh, helpful, smart, and simple. So we'll be discussing that here in just a little bit. But right now, let's go ahead and check out a few benchmark scores. Okay, so on Geekbench 4, we got a score of 1646 single core score and 5191 multi core score Android 9 Pi, as you see right there. Let's go ahead and check out N22. And as you'll see, we got a score of 159,445. So let's go ahead and go back home. We'll clear out all of these apps and stuff like that. I got my stopwatch right here. So let's go ahead and turn the phone on, get the stopwatch ready. And we'll get in with this test starting now. Okay, so moving right along here, 670 Snapdragon processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Doing a pretty good job here, as I see. And the Subway Surfer now. All right, and the dead trigger. And it's going to be around 55 seconds. So. 55 seconds is what it took here to run through all of these apps. So we'll go ahead, set this here to the side, and go back home. Now we'll go ahead here and press the system update. And as you'll see right here, it does show some, you know, features here of the, you know, of the update. Uh, new features include dark theme, navigate your phone with gestures, additional controls for privacy and location, quick actions and replies and notifications. This is approximately 1188 megabytes. Some phones could be different, but we'll go ahead right now, download and install. And so this will, this will take quite a while. So I'll go ahead and finish all this up right here. And when it's finished, we will continue with the second part of this video. Okay, so we're officially on Android 10. Let's go ahead and go into the settings here to verify that. And you'll see we're on Android version 10 with September 5th, 2019 security patch. Okay, so I have some updated benchmark tests that I ran on Android 10. Let's go ahead and check those out now, starting off with Geekbench 4. And you'll see here a score of 16, 15 single core score and 51, 63 multi core score. So slightly lower numbers than Android 9, but it's not that much of a big deal. Let's go ahead and check out N22. And on here, you'll see a slightly higher score at 160,934. So let's go ahead, go back home here. We'll go ahead and clear out all of these apps. And we're going to do another speed test here on Android 10. Got my stopwatch right here. So let's go ahead and get in with this test starting now.
All right, going to Instagram. Play Store, going to Settings here. Going to Twitter. Dump will run two. So it's going to be close. Got to see what happens here. As we're loading into Temple Run 2. Alright. Subway Surfer. And Dead Trigger. So a bit slower here. As you're seeing. There we go. It took a minute and two seconds. Um, the last test on Android 9 took 55 seconds now internet speed can play a role in this of course you know it can vary by a few seconds depending on how fast or slow of course your internet speed is y'all all know that but on this particular test here it took one minute and two seconds so that's just a test right there that i wanted to run and show y'all the differences here on the pixel 3a xl between android 9 and android 10 seems to be a bit slower um, but we'll see what happens as time goes on. But uh, yeah, so I want to dig into Android 10 a little bit more. I've not really done a whole lot with it except change, you know, stuff to dark mode and stuff like that. I really like dark mode on these phones. Um, so anyway, this is just my Android 9 versus Android 10. Um, com little comparison here uh, on the Pixel 3a XL. So this is helpful and informative in any way. Hit that like button. Any questions that you may have, leave it down below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Hit that bell for notifications. I would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.